to our sister from Netherlands. Rebecca, hello. Can we hear you, sister Rebecca? Uh, hello, hello, Daddy. Good afternoon, sir. God bless you. Good afternoon. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Daddy. Yes, I'm hearing you. And we are all hearing you. The whole church is listening to you now. Sorry, I, I, I didn't hear you. Come again. Can you hear me? About branches. When you say something, you, you, you cannot go and add another branch. So I'm a little bit confused. Is, 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 is this the will of God for you not to add another branch? I don't understand. Yes. Okay, listen to my answer. God bless you, Rebecca from Netherlands, Holland. Okay. Praise God. She heard me talking about branch. Certainly not today. I didn't talk about branches today. Whether we will have branch. Rebecca, you are a believer by just listening to us on the net. And you have believed. I, is, is she the same one that the Holy Ghost told one time to drop trousers? Is that the same one? Somebody else like that called. Yes, okay, that one was from Denmark. Now, now, what we say is that the idea of opening branches like the denominational churches do, headquarters somewhere in Lagos, because most of the headquarters is in Lagos, and then branches everywhere and all over the world, then we appoint pastors, they are there on our behalf getting membership collecting tithes and offerings sending them to us here in Lagos, we in turn paying them salary and posting them from one location to the other like they do in the civil service of business conglomerates <laughs> now we say we don't see that pattern in the bible Every local church is supposed to be a sovereign, independent of herself. Every pastor of a church, you are the overseer of that church. If we go to anywhere, including where you are calling from now, uh, we are Netherlands, and we evangelize there, and people believe, and a pastor is placed over them, he becomes the overseer of that place. Not answerable to us here in Lagos because we went there. We have finished our work when the church is planted there and it is left between him and the Holy Ghost. But of course, he will always look up to us as his apostle for establishing that place there. And he will always be a sister church to us. But he will not be under our control. We cannot remove him and we cannot post him away. We will not pay his salary because we won't even collect his tithe and offering. He does not even have to bear our name, bright assembly. He can choose whatever name he wants to choose. It is not the name that identifies you. It is what you preach and where you stand in the gospel that determines who you are. Praise the Lord. So you have to understand that. So the idea of a church branch, the way the denomination do it, no, it is unscriptural. 
Everywhere, the local pastor there is the overseer of that church. And the Holy Ghost is the general overseer of the church of Jesus Christ. No man is the general overseer. Praise God. So we hope uh, Rebecca from Netherlands, I hope that is clear. From Holland, sorry, from Holland. God bless you. Okay, let's go into action. How many people want to pay their tithe now? Stand up and wave your tithe.